We've had people message us some pretty hurtful things by saying they think we're above the law, we're breaking the rules. We're, that is not, you know, like I said, it's not what we're trying to do. That was never the intention at the beginning. This isn't a political thing. This is not. This is just honestly our personal uh, opinion, the way we feel. And, and we feel like it's important that people in our community have an outlet and a place to come for, for themselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it. we don't want no one hurting themselves and we don't want, you know, people out just running around doing crazy stuff, you know, because right now this, I mean, when COVID first happened, man, I, I remember telling my wife, I'm like, Psh, this will last two weeks. Yeah. Guaranteed two all, weeks. All I was like, all I, all they ain't going to tell me I'm not going to the gym. I'm like, this is going to be two weeks and I'm going to be back to my grind. And uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger used to break into the gym. I, I, I seriously thought about doing that. I was, I was like, I, I will literally break into a gym right now yeah. just to work out. Yeah. And that's what was going through my head. Yeah. I didn't do it. I considered it. Right. And it was just, you know, like I said, it was one of those things where, you know, we, we did. We sat and we thought long and hard. And we made sure everything that we did, we, we dotted our I's and crossed our T's so that we recovered. And then, you know, hey, whatever happens, with the state or, or we'll, we'll deal with it as we come. But the decision that we're making is just purely based on, we're trying to look out for our employees and we're trying to look out for our members. Our yeah. that's, that's pretty much it, you know, we want. And if, you know, if you're someone that's struggling, you're alone and you need to be around someone and you, you just, you know, you don't want to stay, then come, come, come over to West Coast, come check us out. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something for everyone, you know, whether you're a, you know, 145 pound, 245 pound, whatever, doesn't matter. We have all shapes and sizes, all ages, all races. We don't care. As long as you're a respectable person and you like to have a good time and you respect other people, you're more than welcome to come over here and train. Yeah. You guys are opening up a new location right now to do something. This yeah, way. so we're going to be opening up our third location in Puyallup. We have one in Lacey, uh, one in Spanaway. We also have our online, um, and then we'll open up our third location. Uh, next year 2021 in Puyallup so we're kind of in the beginning phases of getting all that done but obviously I mean as you've seen from the gym we carry all of our supplements here in the gym yeah um and this is usually where we're at all day every day Monday through Saturday at the yeah. moment because we're closed I'm on coming Sundays years for business every yeah. two weeks and like even yeah. if, I, if I have time to work out I'm like oh, I gotta stop and say hi and yeah man <laughs> hop in you know you're more than welcome to come in anytime man you know, we've got, uh, yeah. you've seen the back, we've got the posing stage for competitors. Yeah. We've got, we've got a little of everything for everyone. And, and one of the biggest things, like I said, I like about our gym and community is that there's no disrespectfulness, there's no douchery. So, right. you know, if you're one of those guys, you're going to know right off the bat when you walk in where you fit in here in our gym. Because if you're coming in here on no nonsense, more than likely you're probably not going to come back because you, you're just going to know you can't get away with that. I mean, we have other members holding other members accountable for the mass thing where I don't even have to say nothing. I'll get a text message or something from yeah. another member letting me know like, hey, I just had to tell this guy to put his mask up. You know, just want to let you know. And so the respect that we have from our community and our members is huge, man. And and that's where, you know, you have to, like what I tell people is like, you know, I've had people make comments where like, oh, you're IFBB. But like, if you ask like 80% of people in the gym, they don't even know what the hell IFBB pro is. You know, to me, to them, I'm just Big Mike. I'm just Michael. Who, is a bodybuilder, you know what I mean? And so for me, I think as someone in the community and as a as an owner, I always try to just put myself at everyone else's level. Like this is our thing. This is what we're doing together. Like, yeah, okay, you gotta come to me. Essentially, I gotta make decisions right in the end, but this is it's not just my gym, it's your gym. Like treat this gym as it was as if it's your own. Treat it like it's your house. If you had to come into your house, how would you want someone to treat it? Yeah. So, so if you, you don't get that feel, sorry, you, you don't get that feel when you go to a big box gym. No, nah, man. It's like any big chains. No, nah, you're just, like you see people like with their masks off half the time. You know? We know, yeah, and we know all the members here by name. I mean, anyone that comes in, we know them by name. We got guys from really, really old that come in. There's a, a older gentleman comes in, name's Oliver. So the Marine Corps, the Vietnam, he's super badass, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. we got a couple older ladies that are in here moving weight. So from every spectrum or age group, we've got a community of people that respect each other.